Why are we so upset about forward-facing sonar and technology? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. Before we get into it, if you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family. I really do appreciate all the people that are subscribing, commenting, being part of the team, interaction, and so forth, and having so much interaction in the channel. I really do appreciate it. It's humbling, it's awesome, and I just am overwhelmed and can't say thank you enough. So thank you. Before we get started, I want to make this very, very clear. I'm not a fan of forward-facing sonar. However, I do think that we need to ask ourselves some questions about it. And I am not taking the stance of this video at all. But I want to throw out some questions to everyone. So don't get upset or heated. This is just a small, short video where I am questioning some things, but I am not a fan of forward-facing sonar at all. Forward-facing sonar and technology has been the biggest topic in the last couple years. Professional anglers who are using it are being absolutely dominant. Anglers who don't partake in learning it and using the technology are really the anglers who are hurting and are not in the mix for Angler of the Year or sometimes even just winning that tournament. And as a fan, we don't like it. But why? I think most fans will say, because of forward-facing sonar, all we see is the back of the anglers. I think that happened before. If we want to look at it both sides, the anglers were always looking forward. Maybe sometimes they were on their side, but forward-facing sonar just made that go to another level but we've always seen just the backs of anglers and really the back of their jersey is more important than the front of their jersey but can we teach the anglers or the cameraman to ask the right questions so that the angler starts talking because that's where i see the difference in forward facing sonar and fishing from several years ago most anglers can't fish look at the video screen and talk at the same time but if the cameraman asks the right question then the angler starts to talk about what's going on. So is it something that we just need to allow the anglers to learn to use better and communicate what they're seeing and doing to the fans and the people on the live stream? And would that make us happy? Next, there's a lot of people that are unhappy because they don't get to see the lures that are being used. Let's keep it real here. We don't know what the angler is using in most cases unless they really tell us. We don't know the brand or whatever. If you see a crankbait, yes, we know a crankbait. We know a spinnerbait. We know all the little lures or the lures that we've used for years. But because that lure is underwater, we really don't know what that lure, that specific lure is. So my question is, does it really matter if we don't know what the lures, lure is? And we dismiss it. In the upcoming weeks, I think we're going to hear some news about organizations banning technology but will that really help us as a fan or help the anglers catch more fish i do believe forward facing sonar does shrink the lake for the anglers and it allows them to catch more fish but without forward facing sonar are we going to go back to having drastic lulls in the live feed and on internet on the internet and having hours where the anglers aren't catching fish and would we rather see more fish being caught or having struggles while they're out there bass fishing. If anglers don't want to use forward-facing sonar, they just can't compete against those, those other anglers that are using it. Does it mean that the anglers who are just strictly forward-facing sonar anglers, that they can't catch fish beating the bank or whatever? No. Does forward-facing sonar make an average angler look like a pro? Yes. But if we're gonna ban it, then we have some issues that could come later on down in the future. And if we ban it now, do we never let it come back into play for the professional anglers? And there's lots of ways you could go. You can use it on these days, you can use it for amount of time and all that. But when we start taking it away a little bit, then we open up another bag of worms for a lot of other things that could happen in professional bass fishing. And for me, I don't wanna see a snooze fest. I want to see anglers catching fish. I also want to know how they're catching fish, and I want to know the lure that they're using. I want to know the technique or the things that they see. But if we ban it or take it away a little bit, are we absolutely hurting the sport of bass fishing or the hobby? Do we dislike forward-facing sonar because of the price tag that comes with it? That's a question I ask myself all the time. Average anglers, weekend warriors, 
people that don't go fish, that don't professional fish or don't fish tournaments, forward-facing sonar is incredibly expensive, but it's still a fairly new technology. And as the technology gets better and better, there will be prices that make will drop, which will allow the average angler or the weekend warrior an opportunity to purchase those systems. But are we mad at forward-facing sonar right now because the price tag is just exceptionally expensive? And does forward-facing sonar really make anglers stop watching bass fishing? Are less people watching bass in MLF? I know you can say, there's a lot of people who say, the viewership for the organizations are up. That's what they are telling us. But when you do the research yourself, it's not. I'm not really sure that the viewership is really up. And if the Bass or MLF or MPFL or TAA or whomever, when I say organizations, if they're not seeing viewers come to, if they're not seeing a decline in viewership, why would they make any changes at all? That's what we have to remember. If they're even contemplating banning this, then there's been something that makes this change. It's the fans that have a, that view what's going on. My question though is if you dislike forward-facing sonar that much, are you really a diehard fan of bass? And I'm not taking shots at anyone here, but I don't like it. I really don't like it, but I still watch constantly. Now I do know that I'm content creator and I'm doing stuff and I'm trying to be news oriented a little bit more, but are true fans really turning off bass fishing? at the MLF stage, at the Invitationals, at the Opens, at the Elite level, at the NPFL level, at the TAA. Are we that unhappy as fans of the hobby and the sport that we will not watch it because of forward-facing sonar? And lastly, without forward-facing sonar, do we want more or less fishing on the internet? Because if we're gonna start making these changes at this point in time, after a couple few years, later on down the line when technology is actually paying for a lot of the stuff that goes on in Major League Fishing or Bass or MPFL or all those other, all the organizations. At some point, that's gonna hurt those organizations financially. And we all know that the organizations are there to make money, especially Bass and MLF. Just recently, we saw MLF sign that multi-year deal with Lowrance. Can Can Major League Fishing the heavy hitters and the team trail actually go no we're not going to we're not going to allow forward facing sonar because when Pete, when Lawrence and all the other Garmin and all the other people put their money towards the organization the organization and they show how much financial support that those those organizations are getting do you really think they can go we can't use this we're going to ban this i don't think so I think that the viewership has a lot to do with if they will ban it, limit it, have different amount of inches you're allowed to use, transducers, all that stuff. But at one point in time, are we, the fans, hurting the industry? The sediment is that technology is forcing the industry off track. And that is probably an issue. Is there technological advances in lures and how they're made and how they're created? Yes. Are we going to see more improvements in forward-facing sonar in the future? For sure. But are we that upset that we should ban forward-facing sonar in all tournaments and hurt the industry? That's what I want to know. So comment below. Remember, by the way, I am not a fan of forward-facing sonar, so don't give me shit about it. Seriously. I'm just trying to see the opposite side of this argument. And I don't believe that Major League Fishing and Bass can really do anything about it. Can they limit transducers? Yes. Can they limit screen size? Yes. I think that's the way that they'll do it. But I still think that if you have one screen on the front of your boat and you have it dialed in enough, one screen is going to do just as much harm as, as three screens. And if you look at it conservation-wise, yes, there could be some conservation issues later on down the line. But right now, we're just in this whole gung-ho push to just say, I dislike forward-facing sonar. And I think at some point in time, we have to look at both sides of the, the complaint or both sides of the issue and say, where where is the happy medium for anglers, for the organizations, and for the fans? And really, when, you, when it comes down to it, Bass and Major League Fishing and all the organizations, they're not out there to, for us. 
it helps that they're out there for us but as these anglers pay to use their services the anglers are a marketing brand for themselves and the people that sponsor them and that is what's most the most important and bass makes millions of dollars every year off the anglers and gives them a podium that they can stand on and 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 show off their sponsors not only do they show off their sponsors but they show off the fish that they catch and that is where it comes down to but if we take away back forward facing sonar are we allowing the pro anglers or limiting the pro anglers from becoming successful it's really a dark road to be honest i'm not sure that banning it or making drastic changes is what they will do i think though you were going to hear some serious news from one of the organizations fairly soon probably in the next couple weeks but i don't see bass making any changes in the next couple years and i don't see major league fishing making changes either they have to do what's right for them financially because in the end they're putting up them dollars to also pay for angler of the year and the championship and the classic and all the extra stuff that they do and by giving these anglers the opportunity and the support that they have to promote the sponsors every day when they're out there fishing is the reason why those anglers are out there fishing they're a, they're great anglers don't take anything away from that the guys that are on elites and on bpt and invitationals and opens and all that stuff there's so much better anglers than me it's not even funny but for facing sonar if i dialed it in and knew about it i could probably be or an average angler could probably go out there and compete in some in instances but what do you think are we just be going on and on about forward facing sonar too much comment below and tell me what you think thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button sorry this is a weird conversation but i thought it's one that we needed to have okay so take a kid fishing get your fish on i'll talk to you very very soon cheers